Okay, hello and welcome back to us messing around in Asia. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring some more people over before we do much else. And then actually we're going to declare war. Declare war on these guys for getting Parak back for these guys. Great Britain has joined. So I'm not going to do anything for a little while, or I'm not going to take the war goal actually. I'm going to take these. Right, you get over here. Because if we take the war goal, we might get call for peace, and we don't want that just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to bring some more people over. improving relations with us. Okay, I get it. <laughs> so you, got, okay. you guys head on over here. I'm actually going to build a dock here for local ship repair. You guys all come up to Hobbio. I think, oh, it's probably no quicker either way, but whatever. <coughs> Get rid of that, don't need it. Okay. Rebel sentiment has expired in all those places that got it. Wonderful. Okay, you've arrived, you get one tick back, and come back over here. Just waiting on one core. Uh, nope. Ah, they're going to siege the war goal. That's unfortunate. And they're going to siege it for themselves because it's one of their. No, it's not one of their cores. Okay. That's fine. So they are going to give it to me, hopefully. Right, you get on board. said that, are Johor actually... Yeah, Johor have their own war going on, of course, because they're not actually in my war. That's fine. of it. And we get another merchant. Wonderful, which means more force limits. We can tech up, which means a new cannon. You guys want... who have you got? You've got Baldwin, so you want Conrad. And their war. Britain can't join because they're currently allied with me in a different war. And we want reconquest for... doesn't even matter, does it? Let's say we want to take Jambi. J 
Jambi. Oh, we can't take Jambi. Um, what's this one then? Lemuri. That must be a core. Lemuri. There we are. Great Britain are involved in my other war, so they won't join against us. Let's go kick some ass. group up and protect trade in Malacca. Having the transports with them will just make them tougher basically. Sorry, there's just a lot of messing about is having to go on here. No, I don't want you to transport across. I just want you to walk across the strait. Just walk. Oh, right, they can't because there's a fleet there, sure. Okay, they can now. Right. Whoops. Nope. Select army. Leave a couple of guys. Whoops. Nope. Carry on. Right, let's see how this battle goes. They've got two heavies, six lights, and five transports. However, uh, Diplotech is better, which does count for something. <laughs> you go there. You go there. You go there. Yeah, there we are. No problem. You go. No, screw you. Come on. Sink the ships. Wonderful. You get across there. Oh, God. Okay. You come and deal with these guys before they do something silly like actually siege my province down. Let's cancel my dock. There we are. Okay, now it's just a waiting game. Now, having said that, I don't exactly know what my plan is for this, other than that I am just doing it. I do have a merchant here who needs to be transferring trade power. I'll go back to him in a minute. Um, got some Greek patriots who might be causing an issue shortly. Got a lot of things up here that I don't care about. Right, okay, got potential rebels in a din. That's the only place, so we can go and deal with them. Right. Okay, 
now we might start getting ticking war score because Britain managed to siege this down. Hopefully Britain won't leave anytime soon. Because they've proven capable of actually getting troops over here. So I don't want to uh, don't want to end up in a war against them. Which means it might be worth seeing if I can get another war going that they can join. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure who against though. It'd be nice if Britain would start a war, that would help a lot. Britain, go to war with someone so that I can join your war. That'd be good. What are you guys doing? You're waiting for that one frigate to heal up. Oh well. So I think we've got sieges on almost all of uh, the land here. There we won that siege. Wonderful. And he is desperately recruiting new people. And we want a siege up there. So you can come down. And we want to see Jambi. Where's Jambi? There. Wonderful. Salango. There we are. They're all starting to fall now, so I'm not having to worry too much. I'll get something out of this war, even if Britain does join. And we've just got 15% extra morale, so... Right. Leave a couple of dudes behind. Come and deal with these. Excellent. One, two, three. One guy can go there. One guy can go there. Because these guys are taking too long to uh, heal up, basically. One guy can go there. We should be fine. We probably won't have to deal with Call for Peace. Greece is over here. Well, thanks for the help, Greece. I don't think we're going to need it. Oh, they've got a little island over there as well. We should deal with that. At some point, once we won some of these other sieges. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to take from Syak. I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, took advantage of the opportunity while I had it. Fully defensive, that's an issue. That's why we're struggling to uh, cover our manpower. Or not our manpower, our manpower is doing fine, but you know, our actual troops. Won the Siege of Siak, got a colony here. Call that. Send a guy there, move over. No. Kalenton. She's that up there. Okay. Attack. Wonderful. Right, where's that trade fleet gone? Where has that trade fleet gone? What? They're not docked up anymore. And they're probably not dead. They down here, of course they're down there. Right, 
give me my transports. Greece is already going for it. Can they win? Looks like no. Greece. It's lovely that you're trying to help, but you do suck. There we are. That's how you do it. Detach siege. Go home. God. I might get rid of the notification for people are starting to improve relations with us, actually. Right. Don't care. That's just too much bullshit. Come on, that siege. Okay. It's time to start seeing what I actually want from these guys. Uh, I could make them give back a whole bunch to my protectorates over here which might be the way to go. I could make them a protectorate, which might also be the way to go. Or I could take the land myself. I don't really want to call the land myself. Making them a protectorate means I can't take the land from them later. They've got Chinaware and Siak. Okay. That's a big deal. They've got gold there. So... How much is their total war score cost? 183%. So, if you return cores, it's going to cost a lot of diplo power, but half as much as anything else. If you return Lemuri, well, actually, let's just see what is up here, shall we? Spices. Tropical wood, spices, spices, spices are nice, but really what I want is that gold there and that chinaware there. So these are the two provinces I want. Everything else I'm not bothered by. So I want that, and so I might as well also take that. You're returning that, you can return. Gaio, you can return that one that begins with P, you can return Batak, and you can return Delhi, that's 84 war score and 110 diplo points. It's 132 diplo points. We'll do that. That'll probably be enough for me to be able to vassalize them next time. Uh, not vassalize, full annex. Same thing. And we have enough points to build a nice big building, uh, but not the war college. Do I already have a war college? Oh, okay. Already built a war college. Fair enough. Uh, in that case, it's going to be the university, isn't it? Oh, I love the tax assessor. University of Cairo. There we are. Trading in spices happened to us. Wonderful. You know, I might not give any of that land that I said I was going to give away. I kind of just want all of this land for myself. So I might just take these four provinces for now. That's 49. Um... Wait, not Kader. Kader are not my uh, protector, are they? Kader are just... Kader are people I'm at war with right now. Okay. 
Don't give things to them. That's a bad idea. Uh, return that. That. That's 74. So, sure. We can return the Lemuri to Pasai. That's 86. That's 88. And war reparations for 98. That should be fine. What are you improving relations with Jahor? Why are you? I mean, it's not like he has anything better to do, but still. <coughs> There's no good reason for him to be doing that either. That's a core. You can win these sieges. There we are, that should be enough for this war. And then this war. Uh, we could full annex them. But I'm thinking we'll give those to Pasai. Reparations, money. Don't have enough diplomatic power. We used up a lot more diplomatic power than I thought we were going to. So, we could take those and give them to Pasai. Uh, or we might just. take their money. For now, I'm not too bothered. There we are. It was a good way of getting them to uh, getting me to go to war with these guys, and that is its own reward. Wonderful. Okay, Master of Mint. That would be good. Morale of armies. That's good. You guys come home. In fact, no, you guys get on the boat. And we can start a second colony here. Do we have any missions right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Austria. Austrian Palatine Nationalist War against the Palatinate Liege, Bavaria, Switzerland, Britain, and the British colonies. This is what they have started. So I'm going to go to war with Britain. <laughs> that thing I didn't want to do, I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. In that case, get all my ships together. trade all by yourselves in Constantinople. You guys dock up there. Oops. You guys move around to there. Uh, did I decline that? Did I let that tick for too long? Whoops, a daisy. I'm sorry, Austria. <laughs> Whoops. That was that was a mistake. I wasn't meant to do that. doing for trade in Alexandria now. Okay. 
since we're not going to be at war with Britain, we can actually keep you guys doing that. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh well. These things happen. You guys get down here. You guys get down here as well. You guys are on autonomous rebel suppression. Alright, so what have we got there? Spices, gold and copper. Really want that China ware from Sayak. University of Cairo is completed. We're really going to need it. <laughs> Our military technology is fine. Everything else, not so much. Right. Um, I kind of want more boats. Sure, more boats. Trade ships, please. Then we can start saving up for another big building. Uh, well, Britain will be happy about me not joining that war, at least, so that's something. Um, although they're not happy about that time that I dishonored their alliance. Adjuran is starting to become westernized again. So they failed last time, they're trying again. Right, wonderful. You can get two colonies going at once, no problem. Plenty of income. How much money are we making from trade? 50 ducats. 54% of our income is from trade. Bavaria will cede Württemberg to Austria. Bavaria will pay ducats. Cool. Right, what was this war about? It's a war against the Palatinate. And I very much doubt Britain are going to get too involved in it anyway. Ah, well. Naples are fighting Britain because they're allied with. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just... I really wouldn't mind actually being in this war. Um, defensiveness or not? In Terabulus? Sure. Defensiveness in Terabulus. Why not? It's 50 ducats plus 10 defensiveness for the rest of the game. Um, before any building any more build buildings, I do actually want to get some more of these post offices and things. Oh, I can't because of Diplo Power. Lel. Uh, more money, please. Sometimes I go for the extra manpower, but frequently money. Just check. I oh, know we do have overextension, of course, but we don't have. Um... Sure. I know what I'm saying. And it's not important that you know because you're not even listening, are you? You're not even listening. Uh, faith cannot be bought, but silence can. Speaking of which, papers here. Cool. When can I annex you? Soon, surely. 1675. A couple of years, okay. Uh, Switzerland lost to Austria and ceded some land. Ah, well done, Austria. Austria don't seem to be at war with the Palatinate either anymore. Fair enough. trade fleets that need to be trading in um, Constantinople, presumably. Constantinople. And, actually, having said that, how is our trade power looking in... Oh, just take a look at that. Mm, okay, no, actually, you want to be trading in Alexandria. We need more people in Alexandria. 
Okay, how's our trade power looking in, well, all of these areas really? Malacca, now we've got trade fleet there. We're doing sort of okay-ish, I guess. Could do with more boats. Could do with more trade power stuff in general. Okay, and how are we doing over here? Money, there's a lot of money in that node and it's not coming out. Which is unfortunate. We could do the merchant there again as well. It's Bengal. Bengal's collecting a lot of it. Makes sense. <coughs> they do own a lot of that stuff. Can we get some sort of war on them? Can we justify a trade conflict? No, not really. Well, maybe when we get another merchant someday in the far, far future. Anyway, I think this episode has run on way longer than it should have because I didn't get the time of going for a while. So thanks for bearing with me and I hopefully will see you again next time. Until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.